Alright, if y'all got any questions, all you gotta do is type it in your chats. Um, recording. Howdy. Six years ago, almost seven years ago, there was a major DDoS attack on the East Coast of the United States. During that, Photo Bucket, uh, Imager, and several other image hosting sites went down. I decided right then and there I wasn't going to depend on another image hosting site ever again. Because 90%, well, I won't say 90%, I'll say about 70% of saddlebags went white, just solid white. But a bunch of the images were hosted on my website, which allowed us to still stay in business while other virtual clubs were completely shut down. And this affected the entire internet, not just saddlebags. This affected everybody. Uh, their second life, some of their images were banished. Uh, 3DX, uh, I'm an Imager, I mean, uh, IMVU, uh, several private websites were affected where people were hot linking from photo bucket to their private websites. Uh, when all that happened, I said, no, -uh, not anymore. I found a project called the gallery and it was shut down. And it's been revived since then. And I have put together my own package and tested it. So no more depending on photo bucket or imager or RLC or Second Life or wherever you've got, you can have your own. Uh, it's simple, I've got it set up to be simple. Um, the packaging, right now the Deluxe and the Elite are not available. Uh, they will be available later on. I'm gonna try, I'm working on a project with this to include movies where we can upload like like you do with Skype one to two minutes, five minute clips so you can host your own video clips these are private now you still have to obey the copyright laws you know the copyright laws we got no control over that uh, but they are private I can lock out uh, Google Bing and then all of it and lock them out. So they are semi private. You can't, they're not, nothing is 100% private online, so, but they are mostly private because they, whoever it is, would have to know your gallery. They would have to know your gallery and they would have to have access to your gallery. And you can do however you want to do that. Uh, you can run these. Use this as uh, use the gallery as your image hosting, and then upload. Use the links from it to your other websites or your profiles, or like Facebook or Twitter. That way, you can lock it or move it. You will have control over your own images instead of these platforms having control over your images. They are your images. I do not have control over your site. The only thing I can do is lock your site. I will not delete your site. Nope. The images are yours. The owner of the galleries. Now, to use the galleries, all you have to do is come in once you get your gallery built. You have to contact me. I'm working on that. Right now, the contact form is disabled. I'm working on that. Um, I'm only getting a handful of people right now to uh, make these available to right now. But when you get your gallery, you come in here and you click on login up in the top corner. I'll give you all your credentials to log in. Once you log in, you can see everything. Up here in the center is where you got your ad. You can add albums. I try to start every gallery with a main folder. But you can come in and you can add other 
boulders. Put your directory name and your internet address. It does all that automatically. Just click create. Now you got a new folder. You can add some images. There's your navigation buttons over here. There's your main folder and there's your new folder. Now, inside of the new folder, you can also add albums. Continue setting up folders as you need them. Yeah, I'm live right now. Can you still hear me, Tim? I've got you, I think. God bless America's watching. And to do your albums, you got a little button right here. You can come right here and you can edit permissions. You can set it up to who can see what. Now, when you play with this, Remember, the images might not show up in RLC. So these top ones right here, it needs to be so everyone can view it. Or RLC won't be able to see it. It won't show up in RLC or your other websites. Edit and add is for your members you can add members to this to these I charge extra for that because that costs extra for storage space that's why I have the bigger packages eventually I want to be able to upload uh, you can also organize your albums you can enable notifications I got notifications disabled right now But what I do is I create a subdomain, like uh, with our SB gallery, it's SB gallery, whereas this one is your images dot, 
All these will be under your images. For example, if your name is Sally, you can do Sally 2367.yourimages.rocks gallery. Uh, if your name is Tom, you want to do Tom Foolery dot your images dot rocks. That's the way I set them up. So they're private subdomains of the your images domain. But you can come in, you can edit the albums. Which means you can change the title. Careful when you do that because if you're using them somewhere else, always set this up when you create your folders. I leave everything default. But when you edit your albums, uh, once you edit them, start using them once you start using them do not edit them or if you do edit them edit them very carefully because when you move items the pathways get lost and you have to reset the item you can edit all your permissions right here your albums now you can rearrange your albums just be careful organize if you move like a picture from one album to another album they won't be able to be found by the old links. It'll have a new link. Unless you have a file suppression turned on. Which that can be done in the admin dashboard. The admin dashboard is completely different from the front end. This is the, called the back end. Part of the back end. Uh, you can come back here. And you can change some things careful playing back here because you can mess up your gallery and I have to fix it but you can come in here to suppress right here I usually turn it on by default I don't always Also hide the sidebar if you want. Uh, I don't have some of this turned on for this site because I want this one to be able to be found by Google. There it is. Yep, how to suppress source. I usually turn all that on. Uh, you can change all kinds of stuff in here. Like I said, be careful changing stuff in here because uh, you can mess your site up. Just uh, remember what you did so you can undo it. You can also come in here and add watermarks. I can add modules sometimes. Um, there are some modules that uh, Gallery is working on. There are a couple that I'm working on. So, um, but you can go over here and you can upload a watermark. Make your own watermark. Make a transparent watermark. And you can add it on, you can, it'll be on your every image. 
So if anybody tries to copy your images, they'll have the watermark. And you got all kinds of settings now. The advanced settings do not mess with. Uh, stay away from that. Server add, you won't be able to do the server add. You can uh, to the var folder. I have to do that. User registration, you can turn that on or off. I've got it turned on. I see one pending up there now. You can also turn on comments. Who can comment? And you can turn on or off the feeds. You can also have only registered users be able to comment. And you can unpublish or publish them. And you can also lock them. And permissions, you can use permissions to where it say you've got members only website and you want to share certain pictures to that website only then you can set it right here they'll only be able to see it if they have the link to see it you use this in combination with your individual images and I'll show you some of that in a minute still with us temp to upload images all you do is come in here and I want you if you don't have any images in the start you'll see add some right here <coughs> click in the empty box right there or you can drag and drop start off the standards start off with you can upload about a 10 24 image anything bigger than that you need a bigger package uh, now the smaller you can do a 512 which is good for websites and businesses and stuff like that uh, if you want business headers and stuff if you want to be able to host images for business headers and full-size images then you need to go up to 10 24 you need to get the uh, standard that's because it, it that's what it takes to storage I'm hoping to upgrade the servers I'd like to upgrade to a dedicated server by the end of the year this is uh, January of 2022 that I'm recording this
a couple of them that's too big. Works better if you only upload one or two at a time, also. Tim. That's the one that finished. Now see, I can come in here and set this. Oops. Set this as a uh, cover album. Album cover. Digital camera or uh, the phones do a smaller PNGs. So, the small package and the uh, bigger package, depending on what you do, what you're using, it, what you're using the gallery for. here too once you get once you get images in there you can also edit the image itself you can rotate it you can delete it you can move to another album but when you move it to another album just know that it might not show up on there if you it on other websites or if you used it inside of RLC or Second Life or wherever you used it at, it might not, might not show up if you move it. There's a good chance it won't show up. You'll have to redo it. You'll have to get the new URL and put it in the new URL for it.
it's still busy on the other one. It's still uploading these. I uploaded too many at one time because I'm broadcasting too. crashed. Welcome back everybody. Yeah, I can only upload one image at a time. Because I'm streaming also. Trying to stream 
and record. again. Let's have to put them all in right there. That's it. That's how easy it is to use the gallery. Once you get your set up, uh, if you'd like to get one, just contact me, uh, President Free, DJ Harley, uh, and I will hook you up. 
Until the next one, have peace and uh, have fun. Enjoy life and learn everything you can. There you go. Catch you on the next one.